with 162 to give a cube number. So in the cube, we just need to make the three comb combinations of three. Two times eight is 16, one is two. Three times two is six, seven is 21. Three times nine is 27, three times three is nine, three times one is six. So students, what happened? When I put 162 cube root, when I put in the form of pairs, I get only one pair. One, what is the one pair? Three cube. Three. But this three also needs a pair, and this two also needs a pair. So this two, this two should be multiplied with two times two, right? So the missing element is two times two from here, and missing element is three times three from here, right? If we multiply all of them, are you getting the point? We need to make in the cube root what we do. We make the pairs with three. So this three, three, three gives us a pair. So this is up. But what about this two? There is only one two. There should be three twos. So how many twos are missing? Two twos are missing. And there is only one three. There should be three threes. So there, how many threes are missing? Two threes. So what will you get? Two times two is four. Three times three is nine. So nine into four? Thirty-six. So it means what will be the smallest whole number that can be multiplied with 162 to give a cube number? That will be the answer will be 36. Now let's check this answer. We have got the answer, but now we can check the answer. Okay, check. Okay. Multiply 162 by 36. Tell me what you will get. Multiply fastly. 162 times 36. Did you get 5832? 5832. Okay. Now, 5832. Let's do the prime factorization. 2 times 2 is 4. 9 is 18. 1 is 2. 6 is 12. 2 times 1 is 2. 4 is 8. 5 is 10. 8 is 16. 2 times 7 is 14. 2 is 4. 9 is 18. 3 times 2 is 6, 4 is 12, 3 is 9. 3 times 8 is 24, 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6, 7 is 21. 3 times 9 is 27, 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 1 is 3. So can you find out that there are 3 2s, there are 3 3s, and there are 3 3s. So you got the perfect cube root, right? The yes. problem that you were facing in the above question. The problem that you were facing in this question was there were three threes, but the twos and threes were missing. To find out how many twos and how many threes are missing, so you got when you multiply them, you got 36. So it means 36 is the missing number. So when you multiply with 36 with this number 162, you get a number 5832, which gives you a perfect cube root. Are you all getting my point? You can recheck this recording because this is a bit critical.